HMAS Chules has actually bought an embarked engineer element from the 6th Engineer Support Regiment down in Brisbane. A bespoke element that has been task ordered, it brought in plant operators, it brought in more chainsaw operators. As we've uh, progressed over the last 24 to 48 hours, we've actually moved further south. We're centred now on the Proserpine and Airlie Beach area, and our focus has very much shifted to helping some of the more isolated communities along the coastline um, of Dingo Beach, Hideaway Bay, and also into Conway Bay and Wilson's Beach. These are the areas that were perhaps worst hit, both from uh, wind damage, but also from a significant storm surge. As far as we were concerned, it was the most horrific experience of our lives. We said it was the worst two days of our lives. We've never spent two days as bad as this in any circumstances whatsoever. At the moment we've seen a lot of fallen trees that have spread out across the road. Uh, we've seen a few houses with roofs lifted off um, and a few boats that have been sort of pushed up out of the water onto land. Uh, that's been the most we've seen so far, but we're expecting to see more damage further as we go down south to Ely Beach. Around this area, Wilson's Beach, uh, they've got hit by a lot and there's been a lot of debris brought on. A lot of trees have been uprooted and all the single level houses are completely filled up with debris. We've seen a range of devastation from uh, trees falling over to a property up on the top of the hill that has been uh, completely flattened. Uh, there was approximately 1.5 metres of water that went through the lower levels of the houses. Uh, so that has completely destroyed everything in that person's place. It's a good feeling, it's good to, to get out and, and help the community definitely, rather than sort of uh, some of the other people that are further south that are trapped and can't get up to assist. So it is good that we, we do have access to get down here and help out as much as possible.